Uh, Dan, vote the game. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> hey! Woo! <laughs> to the motherfucking pod crash. That's right, noises were made just now. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Dang. Alright, uh, Bob has a main topic he wants to talk about today, but first, let's just get, get the whole what we've been doing for the past two weeks out the way. Yeah. So, what have I been doing? Oh, it's easy, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Monster Hunter for You're ultimate. a disturbed little boy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I sure am. I sure am. Yes. Um, yeah, I figured I'd just get right to Monster Hunter since noises, I feel so. like every time we do these segments, I usually talk about stuff I watch, but that's for, <clears throat> that's for Eyes on Crash, so I'm not going to talk about that this so time. We already so did. I'm going to talk about what I played. Mainly what I played was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and this game is the best Monster Hunter ever made, at least in my humble opinion. Just really... It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> really well done. The, I mean, you make the armor, you hit the monsters with the hammer. It's it's so good. <laughs> I plus. mean, I mean, it swoops down and it yells at you, and you're like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How could this be? How could this be? Get out of my face. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> so yeah, just... only 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 Dan truly got that though. <laughs> truly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just it's a fantastic game, and really like I think the, the whole verticality, the jumping and the climbing, really adds a lot more than like swimming. Fuck that, because swimming's just hey, here's two areas and sometimes a big arena where you swim and you fight five monsters. I mean, granted they have subspecies, but Please five enjoy- monsters underwater. Please enjoy this five-hour battle with a Legiacris. Yes. That's <laughs> slow as fucking molasses. But, but, but see, water really only affected those monsters, but in this, climbing affects everything. And I mean every monster. Even returning ones feel fresh and new because of the new mechanics. Watch as Gypsaros tries to run on the wall and on the ceiling. <laughs> like it, was such an amazing, it was an amazing sight. Watch oh, Kezu be even more of a fuckboy as he st- spends even more time on the ceiling. I had I had a second of like I forgot that this was for you like recently like Kezu got on the wall and was just sitting there like yeah and I was like <laughs> really? <laughs> That's literally you don't get the fuck <laughs> wait I could just come up there <laughs> I could come and get you and so I climbed up there and just pulled out my little knife get the fuck down off the wall <laughs> <laughs> especially if you have an insect glaive that's mad easy just <laughs> Just yeah. pogo. Get the fuck down. Both the new weapons are really deep and really good, and then people are like, oh, you're overpowered. No, you're just, you don't know. <laughs> just try to pick it up vanilla. They're hard weapons to use. They have a lot of tech behind them. And the monster we all know and love, uh, Legombi. <laughs> it came back for some... I don't even know why. Say what you want about Legombi. When they put him in the fucking in the FMV... He always makes the most badass entrance. <laughs> yeah, he, he tries to make that entrance. He count. really tries hard. I mean, yeah, like when that, and, that first time you fought him, and to be that fair, movie, that was actually really and, funny. And to be <laughs> fair, when I fought him, I think they got rid of all of his moves that he had in common with Arzuros because yeah. now I think his moves are all either the unique moves he had in Three Ultimate and new moves. Yeah, because he, he just, doesn't do the triple slash anymore. Definitely not. Yeah. He just sounds like a Scottish mythical beast with that name. And now he has... Lagombe! Here comes the Lagombe! Lagombes like are like fucking, onions. He has this fucking Stop. butt splash that he does <laughs> now. Just jumps in the air and just yeah, tries to fall that. on I you. really hate that move, because it's like, why are you doing this? <laughs> annoying sack of shit. It's like, I fought him once, that's all I really needed to fight <laughs> I got delayed, to... fought him once. I'm good. Guys, fight out of, out of the way. Yeah, I got him. Don't need to see him again. I actually fought a frenzied Lagambi, to be honest with you. <laughs> and that was basically, a hey, it's a Lagambi, only he can infect you with wyvern sickness. Which I guess is worth talking about, too, because the big bad monster of this game is Gormagala going around spreading wyvern aids. Fucking. Batman the, the Dragon. Batman the Dragon spread spewing f- fumes of AIDS. See, whenever I hear Frenzy Mode, I just think of like that shitty fucking plot thing with Mortal Kombat and DC with fucking Rage. Hmm. 
Rage. The rage. The rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Dark Side and Shao Kahn combined together to shit. Yes. Golem shit. Yes. <laughs> so you Griffith the Dragon. <laughs> Griffith the Almighty Dragon. <laughs> but anyway, so just it's so good and like like when you fight um, the, these frenzied monsters, not only do they like fight faster and differently, but they infect you with the, this virus that will keep the bar will keep going, and mm. y- unless if you hit them a bunch to get like a temporary buff, it turns the sickness into a buff. Or if you bring no berries with you, you're you're gonna get sick and you're it's gonna delicious. take yeah. you're gonna take more damage, and then the recoverable red health doesn't show up. So it's like, have fun dealing with that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good Monster Hunter. I think it's the best one. And it's the one I've had the most fun with in recent time. And as for anything else I've played, I played a little bit of Just Cause 2. Also. Just Cause. Because it was $2. Because it was <laughs> Just Cause. It was <laughs> yeah, that game's fucking godlike. But I think, did I talk about it on the last podcast? I think you touched on it a little bit. Did Maybe mention, I, Yeah, you did mention it. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay. I already talked about it. I played more, basically, and yes. More grapple stupidity. More whatever. grapple stupidity, more upsetting people, and hiding from from the military who get really salty and can't find me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just silly fun nonsense. Anyway. <laughs> how's my week been? Monster Hunter. Okay, Dan, how's your week? <laughs> Monster, Hunter, Monster Hunter pretty much the same thing. And then also I've been playing... Um, also recently downloaded the uh, Final Fantasy fourteen and Rum Reborn. Um, I now, how got is the tri- that? I only have the trial version for now, but right now I'm actually really I'm actually really enjoying it. I mean, at first I played as um, at first I made a gladiator and I was and <clears throat> just to try it out because I'm like okay you know just basic sword user class maybe it won't be too boring. I'm like okay this is way too boring. I'm not playing as a fucking gladiator anymore because <laughs> it's just like literally just basic like. You slash things. You slash things harder. Like that's yeah. all. That's a all lot, the lot, thing I'm, they have. My girlfriend Jen plays it, and she's fucking in love with that. And a lot of it is just like keep on grind. Like the thing that she was doing. Apparently, like there's these like really rare stones that if you get them will do something. But the only way to get the stones is you have to go to a certain zone, play these certain events, and just hope that it drops. So it could take an out. It could take a day, or it could take a month, That's <laughs> depending on the drop rate. I don't know what level she is. So she's like she's fifteen. She's up there. Okay, so she's up there. Yeah, so I'm she's thinking, up there. So pretty I'm much about playing myself. She because, uh, freaking Morgan has just a copy for PS3 just in his house because Jason. It was it was our friend Jason's copy, but he he sold his PS3. and got a PS4. Right. And Morgan's not gonna play it. <laughs> so it's and plus Morgan sold his PS3 to get a PS4 as well. So he just has a like his old sack of PS3 games just sitting there, Realm Reborn being amongst them. Okay. And like he wasn't gonna he, he took them to GameStop and was like, "What? Two dollars? No, I'm keeping all these games." <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's not even worth it. <laughs> but yeah. So right now, right now the character, the class I'm using now is just the the Publis, which is just the monk. So I've just was, been yeah yeah so I've just been punching and kicking the shit out of things. I was thinking of eventually once Monster Hunter kind of like wears a little down in my system in the next few months, picking up the game too. All I guess just right now I don't really have the funds to pay for a subscription. Yeah, I mean I'm not that's really, my main thing. I'm not really so. paying for the subscription yet. I'm still. As I said, I'm still and I'm not even gonna give them my card information. I'm just gonna get the ca- prepaid cards. Just be like, hey. Yeah. It's easier that way. I don't give... I don't fucking... The only thing online that has my information is Amazon. I don't put my, my information... My, especially, like, with mine's... Sony continuously getting hacked. I'm not going to yeah. put my damn card I put my, on the PS3 and or PS4. I have my card stuff on, um, on uh, what's it called, uh, Steam. I, I have it, because half the time I don't have anything worthwhile for people to see. Oh, he has a dollar fifty. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that whole dollar fifty. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess yeah. The only thing I really have my information is again, yeah, just Steam, and I think like they could still just awesome. open up like a. But, no, that's if they have your your actual like information. Never mind, you can't buy shit on Steam or credit. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so so far though, like um I enjoy the podcast. I'm gonna try to look for the thief class because apparently that's just not in like the base five classes that they give or base five like this dis- dis- discipline of war classes that they give you, which is just pretty much Discipline of War is just physical classes, and the Discipline of Magic is casters. So Yeah, my girlfriend's a mage. Like, yeah. yeah, so I was going to try to find the Thief <clears throat> class. Try to play that, because that also is another thing that I was interested in. So probably the Thief and the Pug list I'll m- mainly use, because I guess... I guess with, like, games with, like, tank DPS or healer, I usually just DPS because fuck it. I, yeah. I don't like... Because I don't want to be the one responsible for healing people. Or to be the one responsible to protect people. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm just, yeah, yeah. so I'm just gonna fucking just hit things as much as I can. <laughs> exactly, because that not my job. <laughs> Every time I see my girlfriend's so, group name being Sword Art Online, I get oh, I, I die a little inside. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna join that, so I'm sorry. She's not. No, she, I don't think. Oh. I, I think just her, the people that she talks to just know about it. I think. Okay. I, I still think that she's oblivious to what it is, and I hope that stays that way. <laughs> Or, uh, even better case scenario, she watches it and realizes how shit it is. Yes, that would be that would be the nice, too. Yeah, <laughs> that would it, be the nice. But I think like, just the cap for the trial version is only level 20, so... I mean, it's whatever. I'll live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, since I can also start crafting anyway, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Oh, okay. so, I can already access my crack. I don't need. <laughs> I don't need to get to level. I don't need to crafting. Crack in fact, again. Dan's playing two games right now that have heavy crafting. Oh yeah, because so Monster he's, Hunter has heavy. He's has just on the highest coke high in his life right now. <laughs> <laughs> just look. Just keep looking for things to craft. That's all. All the do. drugs. Yeah, that's right, Dan. <laughs> no, but I just find it weird. You the, snort those drugs. I find it weird the way that the whole crafting thing works. It's just like he kind of like. Since classes are weapon based, like, so if you equipped, like, if you go equipped, like, Knuckles, then you turn into a monk. If you equipped, like, a sword, you turn into a gladiator, which is weird. But I guess just, just, that's just how it works. Do anything you want! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And I mean, so it's just like, but it's weird because they count, like, they count each crafting profession as a separate class, hmm. as opposed to just leveling it up. I mean, as opposed to just, like, it being just a skill. Like, it actually is just a class instead. Hmm. Which, I mean, I guess can work in certain... I guess works in certain aspects. I mean, that works if you want to, like... If you're like, I don't really like doing this anymore, and you want to, like, change your class, but you don't have to make a new account. Right. That makes it easier for that regard. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, even... But I'm saying even the crafting profession, which is kind of weird. So it's like, Mm -hmm. you're a minor... Like, being a minor, you actually have to start as a level one minor and level up. Like, but the way you level up is just by dicking shit up, but still. Yeah. It's just, I, just, I just find that a little bit weird, but... Yeah. yeah I guess, what, yeah, it's, it's unique. From I'm what I've seen that. with that, from what from what uh, she does, it's, it's it looks very tedious, and it's, like, I looked at it, like, all Valentine's Day, because... Yeah, I hear the crafting is definitely not the strongest point of that game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, even th- finding the things to craft with can be, like, such a pain in the ass. Yeah. And, like, and, like I think I've seen... Uh, my girlfriend do the same battles with the same giant enemies like five to six times right. over and over and the screen is filled with nothing but particle effects and magic <laughs> from <laughs> millions of players to the point that I'm going blind and having a seizure on the couch with her <laughs> it's oh god <laughs> oh, and, we're born. like she's like All right, I'm doing it Truly wait I died blind. how the hell did I die I don't know Maybe from him, him, or him, her? I feel like that game has some of the greatest Monster Hunter... Not Monster Hunter. <laughs> shit, man. I have that on the mind. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy enemy design I've seen in a long-ass time. Actually, yeah, I really do enjoy the enemy Because design, so. I, when I look at 13, all I see is just... What the fuck is this techno fucking, like, wolf that looks way too streamlined and shitty? <laughs> Like, I don't know, just, like, 13's enemies didn't do it for me. They looked way too, like, clean. Well, they were supposed to be just, eh, yeah, robots. Yeah, mostly. Like, uh, the, even the wildlife. The only even thing the that, wildlife is somewhat mechanical. Like, I, the only thing, they're just kind of, like, just model swaps, really. <laughs> like, 
The only thing that I really enjoyed is just how Cactar was animated perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Especially shit, shit ass Cactar. Just... I do, I do love how like because there's little companions and uh, Jen was showing me like the little Cactar and the, and I'm very happy that the little Cactar and also like a shit and also and, 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 and also the the guest <laughs> fights in in thirteen two where you get to fight Omega Weapon and Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh who packs fucking heat. <laughs> when you start the fight with him, and then he goes, this, then eventually he goes, this is dumb, get my actual weapons. <laughs> and then the real fight begins. But I just thought it was so funny, because it's literally just... Get with the times! <laughs> it's, it's literally just fucking kabuki-ass, like, Gilgamesh from fucking, uh, from fucking Dissidia. And then he just pulls out big guns! <laughs> Real-ass guns! And then, of course, my favorite guy, Ultros. Am I a mean octopus? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a bad octopus? Just like the character that would show up in six and be like, "No, go away! Why are you here? You're just a, you're just a fuckboy octopus that just runs around being a dick." I love the idea of Ultros, fucking lecherous octopus <laughs> yeah and also he just he literally he just shows up <laughs> <laughs> like there could be a scene totally hey there could just be a scene like you're running through a cave and then all of a sudden just this sprite kind of like comes in you're, you're, whoa hey fight me you're in an opera house there's <laughs> there's ultros what <laughs> there's definitely love I've seen put into that game especially like there's a lot of comedic things in it too like, for some reason, there's, like, some James Bond character, and after some quest, all of a sudden, there was, like, a James Bond, like, skit thing, where the <laughs> character's just running around doing spy shit. <laughs> like, what? Good. Yeah, like, when never most do that, and they kind of just have so random silly shit as, cut, like, cutscenes. Yeah. I also really like the fact that the game actually has cutscenes. Like... That is nice. Yeah, it gives, it gives it more of a... More of a story to care about. Yeah. So so DJ. Yes. Are you are you guys done with your frenzy mode? <laughs> because you're not in frenzy mode. I Hi see. everybody, my name is DJ. I played Monster Hunter Three. I got a little far. Ladri Chris's ass. I don't like swimming. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get forty. Oh yeah, you didn't get forty. Yeah. I, there's so many games that's on my thing. Bayonetta, the new Kirby, all that stuff. I still haven't bought it. I've been investing money in uh, working on my room, so we have a hey, place to record. Hey, hey. I've been working on money for for the bonds. <laughs> <laughs> for my mutual uh, So I haven't played uh, much recently. Uh, I did, uh, thanks to Club Nintendo, I picked up Game & Wario, which may I say, uh, anyone that is not familiar with the Game uh, & WarioWare franchise, you should take a look at it at some point. Are my you going to get a... Fucking Doc Brown's punch out. So, I, I remember, like, when I had my hacked weed, don't come after me. <laughs> like, I got it. It's like, to me, it's just like a demo thing. It's not really a big thing. Hmm? It's more of those, like, hey, I have it type of games. Yeah. Because it's really just like a, hey, want to get punch out and play this little demo where you're just punching me in the face. <laughs> I forgot to use my Nintendo points. I just realized that. You still have time. Okay, good. Yeah. Ooh! You have like till Mar the end of like March to redeem and then uh, to redeem Are and use your points. Are they going to add more games in March or no? No, I think they're yeah, done. Least, Wait, what is, is this then. for? Okay. This is for Club Nintendo that's closing. Yeah. So you have until March thirty first to redeem points and use your points, and then you have till. Uh, what do you mean Club Nintendo's closing now? It's closing because they're going to be making a new thing, which everyone is hoping is an account system. Yeah. Hmm. So you don't have to fucking like spend three hours to transfer shit to a new 3DS. Like, what? Oh, okay, so it's for, like, everything. And for 3DS and for, like, Wii U and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna okay. replace it with something new. They're just getting rid of it. So it's like, hey, here's everything that we should have given you when Club Nintendo was alive. How would I have known if I had points or not? You go on Club Nintendo and you log into your account. Do you have an account with your 3DS? Yes. Use that as your login. Okay. And then you have, like, a bunch of things where it surveys... Like, did you, like, who, how old is the person playing Monster Hunter? Is he three years old? I don't know how I don't think a three-year-old would be able to even comprehend what's going on in that game. He'd probably have a better time than I do. That's sad. Ooh. So I played Game and Wario. Um, my thoughts on that, uh, it's not my favorite due to the fact that um, with this Game and Wario, 
uh, they focused more on one mini game per character, where it's usually just been like, here's a character, here's a bunch of mini games with a certain thing. So like with smooth moves, like there were certain actions that you would do, like it would be punching, it'd be rowing, something like that. With this game, it's just like mini game, mini game, mini game, mini game, and like there's five different difficulty levels as you progress, which makes it better because it puts more love and effort into one thing rather than just scrambling around and like there's like decent amount of games but then there's like uh here's other things i would just would have preferred that they each have like their own little set of mini games other than just one but for what it is i don't think game of war to me is not the type of game that i would buy physically i could see that more as of like it would have sold better if it was just a exclusive eShop thing yeah because that's my problem with Nintendo, like, for 3DS, I think they have a better, like, type of, like, online shop to download. For, like, the Wii U, they really don't have anything. Unless you're, like, mm. Gravity Badgers. What? Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> what the fuck's Gravity Badgers? I only bought for it... Or that fucking 360 no-scope runner game. <laughs> and, there's a, and there's literally a Flappy that Bird MLG clone runner. on it. Yeah. What's Gravity Badgers? It's a stupid thing where it's just like, hey, aim your space badger into the portal. I'm looking this up later. It's not. It's it, not you're going to be game. disappointed. Like, doing it. Okay, sorry, I'm good. The only theme, the only thing good about that game is just a stupid thing that's just like Gravity Badger. <laughs> Gravity Badger. <laughs> that makes the entire <laughs> game worth it. You I, fucking I would might. find a game that makes like the that. entire game worth it. And whenever they like show movements of the badgers, they're just like fucking cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! As I would expect. It sounds so it's stupid. stupid. I'm looking this up. It sounds oh, so. So Game of Mario to me, like I think it's a good. It would be a good pickup if you have Club Nintendo points that you want to use. It's a good uh, thing to have on your Wii U. It's tons of fun, and just for the. Uh, the other thing that it has on it that's, uh... It's kind of like that game on Facebook where it's just like, guess what I'm drawing? Type of thing. But it's just like people post, like, uh, Pictionary. words. Pictionary. And then you have, like, 30 seconds to draw a Pictionary, yeah. Pictionary, yeah. Even though but, I don't think that's what this Facebook thing is But it's like, it's like <laughs> the reverse of it where it's like people post keywords and then you post your 30 second drawing of it. But don't be Vinny because you might draw a dick and then bet banned. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a shit. Oh, I'm I'm kind of upset that we've gotten to that point now where nobody knows what fucking Pictionary is. <laughs> no, I, it was like on the tip of my head, but it was like you said the game from Facebook though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, word. <laughs> Pictionary oh. is from Facebook. Yeah, We're Mario in that age, WarioWare has their own Farmville. And you, and, All right, but well, instead of turnips, you farm onions. People are gonna forget what fucking Scrabble is. Hey, you remember the, the, the words with friends? Nobody's gonna remember Yahtzee. No one plays or Yahtzee. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you suck or my Monopoly. Bad well, Monopoly has a Monopoly on Monopoly. I so. remember playing the <laughs> Monopoly Good. PC game. No one just... changed. Like, there is no other game out there that's just. That's something else, but it's just basically Monopoly. It's Monopoly, and then they just took Monopoly and put it on phones and computers. Yeah, and then yeah. they and then they just slapped on trademarks. No, but 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 well, <laughs> hear me out. There was this Monopoly PC game back in like I think the late '90s or early 2000s, where just you played a game of Monopoly against a computer AI or your friends, whatever, or your and friends. then like the same song would loop. And it was so painful, but then randomly Monopoly guy will just come in and say, Let's go and play Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Good. You know, and it was like, it, there would be, you can't predict it, it would just happen. Like, just in the middle of the game, like after a loop, another loop would happen, but then he's singing this time. <laughs> it's just random, like the game's like, oh, are you getting bored yet? Well, I'm going to try to sing to kind of keep your interest. <laughs> With my terrible singing voice. <laughs> you know, game I kind of want to try playing now. I still want. I still want to try for, uh, freaking uh, Fortune Street. That's Math a, Blaster. What no? Fortune Street, which is pretty <laughs> much just, Mar which is pretty much just um, Monopoly with Mario and Dragon Quest characters. Hmm. Yeah, because those two go hand in hand. <laughs> I don't know, but for some reason it works, and I'm like, I kind of want to play it. Yeah, it's because reasons. Yes, yeah, because reasons. 
Hopefully they're and able to keep and transfer all of their shit from the virtual consoles and whatnot. And now it's time for today's topic. Did you finish what you said what Sorry. you were going to say, Dan? Yeah. It's, what? Did you finish saying what you were going to say? Oh, uh, what? No, I was talking about Fortune Party. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty much it. Fortune Party? Yeah. It's just Dragon Quest. Yeah, yeah, he Dragon, was done. So yeah, that's why Dragon I wanted Quest to... with its... <laughs> It's so, some more, more and, I, and so, so how should we do this? Do you want to watch it as and talk about it as it's going, or do you want to watch it all in and then talk about it after? This is newsworthy. Everybody. Well, because this shit's like twenty fucking minutes. I don't know. I think we're just gonna watch it first and then fucking talk about it. So we're gonna watch it so and then we're gonna see. come back and discuss this. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Just jingle the keys <laughs> right in front of the mic. That's great. Alright, so we watched the video. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, of the hip hop gamer talking about critics. Racism, and racism because and rac- racist. Wait, we're recording again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking sure. Yeah, way to stop the flow, Dan. So so okay. basically Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna start by uh, a, I'm gonna First, talk about what I actually agreed with. The the little preamble ramble he had before he actually got into the meat of the matter. The whole, like, it should be about the experience and not about the the hours. Like, the, the argument that everyone has, like, money versus hours is, like... I agree that it should just be the experience. I mean, if you really think about it... And if it, the game is yeah. good, then... It's worth your money, and if it's not, then it's not. It doesn't matter how long it is, because I played the shit out of Revengeance, and that shit is four hours if you're bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess that you could also make the argument of, like, you go to a movie, you pay, like, 10 or $12 <clears throat> to see a two-hour, two-hour-and-a-half-long movie, and you're paying, like, add all that up. You know, it's like, it, five hours? I mean, the game's, like... Was sped run in five hours? Like that's what people are saying. The developers say it's roughly around a seven to ten hour experience. Like the order eighteen eighty six. That depends is. on who's playing it. Honestly, like if you I'm not if saying you got all the time in the world and you a teenager or whatnot, you could probably bang it out in five hours. But if you have, if you have a job, you're probably gonna play it for one or two hours a day or something. Yeah. Not to mention and, this is just the story mode, right? There's so there only really be... a story mode. There's oh, is no... there only? Oh, okay. Then There's I no can't. Line. Then I can't expand. I mean, on I'm that. not saying the game's good because, like, and I'm not saying it's bad either. Apparently, it's neither. It's just in. It, I've been hearing reviews that a, hey, it's not what they, it's not what they kind of promised, and b, it's kind of, it, it's really whatever. It, or it's exactly what they promised, but a video game shouldn't be a movie. Because that was their whole goal. We want to make this like a movie. Well, you did a pretty damn good movie, but it's not really... Well, well, let me rephrase that. What was in it is what they said would be in it, but it was under... Undercooked. Yeah, like... when like I read a review, and they also showed like clips. Like, when you fight the werewolves, they just run at you and then knock you over, and then they run away and just do it again. Yeah, and those are the yes, only they other don't do enemy anything types. fancy That's or lazy. special. They just run into you. Yeah. That's lazy. Although some sites praise the werewolf AI, and it's and it's basically just shoot bangs with people. And it's it's wasted potential because the werewolves seemed intelligent. You know, like they they could talk, they could hunt and stuff. Like well, they just made the AI but they could just walk in straight lines. Yeah, yeah would run at you on its on their hinds in straight lines. Yeah. But basically, this video was circulating the internet quite a bit lately. People are covering the whole racism in the game. What? We'll put it in the description. Yeah, we'll we'll link the video, and I'm sure you guys can watch it and equally be as confused. In terms of the racism part, like, I, don't, I don't know what the hell Alex, that was. That that was yeah. All right, uh, nowhere. For now me. to the to like the two real like. To the meat of the matter. Yeah. Like, he was angry about people, about critics bashing games, and, like, in opinion pieces, some people do come on strong telling you, like, they, they, like, people should make suggestions. They shouldn't be, like, bullheading, you shouldn't get this game. Like, especially when they're like, don't get this game. It's fucking... 
horrible, like horrible that, people. Like that's that one you, article that, that of the guy who got really mad at Monster Hunter and was like, well, your community likes a terrible video game. In that case, yeah, fuck that. Then, yeah, you're being an asshole. Then you're kind of just being a jerk. <laughs> that's that's not you, being objective. You cannot like the game, but, like, you gotta be broad about it. Like, is it genuinely bad? Well, that's the or problem. Or do you just not like? Like, it? why are you like? Why are you reviewing it? Like, if you're going but into see, something with ill intent, like with the intent to like just like bury this game, then like maybe you're going it for bad intentions. But if you're just going into like inform and say, okay, in my opinion, like if you press to shit with like, in my opinion, there's this problem with this game, there's that problem with this game. But if you're vague and you just say this game is ass, then like, why should I listen to you? Like. Preface it with... Ex- That's the problem that I have with this video. Like, like the whole... Uh, and, like, the whole... His, his like, thing about people bashing games... Like, the big example is with, like, the Monster Hunter reviews. Like, like Bob said. Like, either they won't play it in its optimal setting. They won't have a freaking... New 3DS. They won't have a new 3DS or a, a circle pad. Even that, they won't even know how to use the lock-on function. Well, game reviewers also don't give it give games like that the time that they deserve. Like, Monster Hunter is the play... type of game that you can't just sit there for, like, an hour yeah, and they... get the basis of it. You have to sit down for a while to get it. They play it for an hour, get their ass kicked by a great jaggy, and, and then, then they say, sucks, never play it again. Exactly. <laughs> and that's not... like. And if you're looking for that as a review to go to for an opinion, then you're looking in the wrong place. Cause... That's why I had a problem with him, because... He made it a very broad statement, like, journalists in general, like, what I would have preferred is, like, if he gave examples. Because not all journalists are like that. He did paint it with a broad brush, like, all all critics and all journalists are doing this, and he only had the one example. Exactly. He only had maybe, like, two or three. The only word I heard from his mouth was polygon. Polygon, 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 polygon. Polygon, yeah. Nothing else. Mostly polygon. No YouTube. No, like, YouTubers, like, for example, this YouTuber does it the right way. He puts time and stuff like that. Like, compare and contrast. Put not a little just, more detail. Exactly. And I guess that's the issue is detail with Put, this whole video. Like, I understand his... Do more research. I understand his dislike of people going hard and, like, just spitting on a game and a company, but, like... Sometimes you have to put a foot in a developer's ass because they released an unfinished pile of crap. Otherwise, they'll just keep on doing this and we'll get games on Steam. Be professional about it. Be eloquent about it. Don't just be like, fuck this company. Fuck them. Stupid. I hate it. No, you got to do your job as a critic and critique it. And if you're looking for people like that to get your critique from... Then, in my opinion, in my opinion, you might be looking in the wrong in the wrong place. Like, yeah. by all means, go to other people. Try to get as much information and knowledge as you can before you make a purchase, because you're making that purchase. You're investing that money into it, and whatever you get is whatever you get, because the internet's there. If you have the internet, there's no excuse anymore now with this stuff. In my opinion, mm-hmm. there's. Tons of reviewers. There's unbiased reviewers. There's reviewers that get paid. It's not even an opinion anymore. This is the information age. Go and look shit up. Exactly. Yeah, words are wise. Yeah, like, and I'll, words like, are wise. Huh? Like, I'll always look into something before I buy it. Because like, you're a well-informed consumer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, words are wise. Don't just trust one person's information. You not check all, no. multiple sources to see. Go to Metacritic, to if s- anything. Check multiple sources to see if everybody's saying the same thing. First, if you want to get Even the bang for your buck, do the research. Too. If not, if you don't do the research, then the purchase is on you. Yeah. If they're if if Forum they're getting posts, if know. they're getting mixed reviews, then rent the game. But only so if the game is faulty, and like no nothing was was sent or said anywhere, then that's an issue. But like you know, but that only happens with like rarely, yeah, low rent fucking, like, indie developers that yeah, no one's yeah. looking at at all. Yeah. <laughs> Girl Storm! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like this, oh this no, picture, they might take our video down and sue us. Like, this picture's being <laughs> painted the on the order, but this is nothing new. Like, yeah. this has happened This has happened forever. And Also, wait, I already said that, uh, freaking that game is probably not that good anyway. What? The order? The order? Yeah. Yeah, it's really not. It's getting like twenty five frames per second. Really, isn't that great for uh, 
for shooting. Well, no, they said 30. They wanted to make it 24 frames because that's what old movies were shot in. Yeah, I know. Great logic, right? <laughs> the job but of also the, the the like gray film grain that they have on and the it. letterboxing. The letterboxing <laughs> and letter the gray boxing, film grain yeah. makes it hard to see. Yeah, we didn't. You know like what other game had a problem like, with that? Evil, evil, evil within. within. Yeah, evil, evil within. within. Evil within. Yeah. But that was the, <laughs> oh, the console evil version. Did. Yeah, that was them trying to keep the game stable. <laughs> <laughs> like Word. so. And then the main topic of the whole thing that was in the title of the video. Which you beat around the bush for 10 minutes before he even said anything. And then niggas said that they were pro- they were fucking prosecuting. I don't think that's the right word. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He used for? the word that had nothing to do with anything. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think of a word. <laughs> Search with an R. Not racism, you idiot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, racism. Racism. It's not prosecuting, but it kind of Racism sounds... is racism. <laughs> that quick cut. Oh, God. Oh, like, I that wanted the video to end right there. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the best. That would have gotten a like. Persecuting. That's the word. Like, they were... they. He, he said they were persecuting... Like, they were persecuting this game... Like black people get persecuted in, in America, I was like, "Nigga, what? This is you? You saying that? This is you incomparable. You saying, saying like, critics? Uh, you saying critics talking bad about a game is like racism? I, I think feel that? like he did that just to get the views for his video. What? Like, nothing. What? Uh, no, that's nowhere in comparison. Nah, yeah. nigga, you didn't just. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, he needs to. Well, he pretty much exiled himself from the black gaming community at that one. So get the, get, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Because everybody's going to be like, no. Get the fuck out of here with this <laughs> bullshit. Like. Did you? Were you just black yesterday? What the keep fuck? Keep those keep those rated M games away from my rated E games. They don't belong together. <laughs> keep mm-hmm. those shooters away from my my pure puzzle children. Those genres have nothing to do with my house. <laughs> <laughs> if that genre sets foot in my house, I'm putting a shotgun to the head of it. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> like shut up. Yeah. Like you're drawing parallels to two things that don't make sense oh together. Oh my God. That's oh. Fuck, that's probably the stupidest thing I've heard this year. Like, like inform yourself. <laughs> really? And like, by the way, he says, like, this industry. This is a thing that happens in a lot of other industries. Yeah. That's One like, example that's society. is that's the wrestling. Crazy. And then he kept using the word culture, trying to fucking, trying to draw parallels between black, like, black culture and the gaming culture. Nah, nigga. Back that shit up. Pack it up. Because you, you are fucking, you stretching it right now. He's stretching it so damn like hard. The, the, like, the wrestling industry is the same thing. Like, when people call out, like, stupid shit that WWE does, like, we're sick of Kane and the Big Show always being around. And WWE's like, well, if they don't, well, you know, we're trying to listen to the fans and trying to appreciate the fans. Meanwhile, you're not, though. You're trying to, but you're keeping to it, like, what you think is right for the fans. We'll and we'll whenever... that next time. I have stuff to say about that, too. Yes. But, like... Let's but that's just... what I mean. Like, like you know, the industry... Like, this happens in a lot of other industries. Yeah. But what do you expect us to do? Do you want us just to sit back and have shovelware be, be shoved in our asses and say nothing? No. If there's a problem with the game, we're going to say something. Mm-hmm. Why? Because critique needs to be given to games... Otherwise, the game industry will be ruined and because fu- people will just be able to get away with whatever they and want. The fuck you mean we ain't allowed to say things bad about games because you can't you ain't made a game. I ain't allowed to not like a steak because I didn't cook it myself. <laughs> Word, like, like get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. We, like, we we need to say nice things though in our reviews or we'll hurt the game designers' feelings. If fuck you, out of here! If you, I'm gonna give Sonic Boom a nine out of ten because you know what. Everybody's making him feel bad. They need one guy to say, this is a great game. You know, fantastic fucking video game. And there probably was that one fuck guy. Fuck off. That fuck off. So that's his opinion. That. No, here's the thing. that That's his opinion. And if he likes that type of game, that, that's what he likes. Whatever, yeah. Like, it, it, sometimes you have to critique a game harshly. Like, Battlefield 4, that shit should have spent more time in the oven. You can't release a game that you can't fucking play for the first couple of months. Sometimes it happens. GTA, I feel like they 
that they tested it, but that that got way big of way more big of, resp- of a response that they expected. And then they was like, "Oh shit, there's a billion people on the server." What Even if there's do? a franchise that you <laughs> love, <laughs> we didn't expect this shit. <laughs> but like, okay. Battlefield was unplayable. Yeah. Some people like, and like another thing, a little side note: if you were able to play it just fine, shut up. Like, who cares? Like, yeah, word. <laughs> hate it when like. Not, but like, I played it. Nine no, out of ten people can't play it, but the tenth person is like, "But mine was just fine." That's that's great for you, sir. Good, but I paid you're sixty dollars for not for something that can't. You're even not a load. part of the major problem then here. You're not a part of the majority who can't play it right now. So shut up. If yeah. game developers make a shitty game, they should be held accountable, and they should and they should listen they to should the fans that this. are giving them the money. Mm-hmm. For the game, so that they can make a profit, it works both ways. And a lot of game developers don't like. A lot of game developers do understand this, but a lot of game developers are like, "No, we don't want you YouTube people to give criticism." Like YouTube now and gaming go hand in hand now because they both support each other. Yeah, they get they Nowadays, get yeah. the critique from everyone that plays it, mm-hmm. and for the people that like personalities like our playthroughs, like I think I forget who said it. Uh, no, actually, it was PewDiePie. PewDiePie said something like this for the fact that like you don't really subscribe to like a Let's Play channel or something like that because they play a certain game. You're subscribing for the people that are that are you know running the channel and like playing the games. Mm-hmm. You're subscribing for, for them, the personality, not for the game. Yeah, you're subscribing for the personality, not for the game. So whenever you go find knowledge about something. You're getting it from that person. And, and you see them playing the game. It's like, hey, that's a cool game. I want to play it. That's just a bonus. And at the end of the day, <laughs> it's your choice. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Like, no one's putting a gun to your head saying, buy it, asshole. Buy it. Please buy it. Buy it. Like, mm-hmm. there are a lot of games I've bought just because. And I've if there is, you should buy po- play. Should get police to your door. But, you know. And as consumers, we, we talk with our wallets. And we like, do it because we love the industry. We don't want it to become you, shit. You yeah. you paid for this game, so you know you chose this. This was your choice. You didn't have to go into that GameStop and purchase this game. And you're telling us to just buy the game just and, and it. shut up. Yeah, like now, the price of a game is another story with that. But by all means, like yeah, like if if the game like has unacceptable flaws, you have to point the shit out. So that the goddamn developer won't do it again. Or they stop making games if they're just really terrible at it. Yeah, like Sonic Boom. Nobody fucking bought that game. So, you know, I don't think Big Red Button's going to do another Sonic game. I actually, I actually, Get Sonic Team I back. Actually, at this point, they're better. I actually heard that it did okay for, like, a shovelware type game. It did... For, like, shovelware quality games, it actually showed very well. For a Sonic franchise game, it did not it, show it, it well. sold the least, apparently, and this is why but Sega... But for shoveware, it sold well. And that's why... <laughs> not to, not to, <laughs> that's not speaking. Not to dig up a skeleton from its grave already, but that's why Sega's in the situation it's in now, is because they make these shitty games, reviewers review them poorly because they're shit, but nobody's gonna go to Sonic Boom and go, Oh, I feel really bad... Better give them some good praise. It's a good game. And they don't just do it because they want Sega to fail. They do it because... It's their job. They have to. They have to be equal to everybody. And, and like, no exceptions. The thing that no he said, like, he, he made it sound like we just, like, the first thing we go to is for negatives. Like, no. We want games to be good. We don't want to look at the negatives. But if there's a negative, we're going to point it out. And like, he, he, he's like, like, we're all on, like, an attack. Like on a mission to just destroy gaming. Yeah, that's not you the say case. us, but we're not critics. We're just well. I mean, like we're just four schmucks who sit on a couch and, and we're couch not even journalists. We're just guys who play games and exactly. say stuff. Sometimes, but we, but we do we're give our opinions with things. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. And like anyone could be a critic. Mm-hmm. They can't be. They, I mean, yeah. in terms of if they're a professional critic, that's another thing. But anyone could be a critic. Everyone has their opinion. Everybody. And you, and you, like, he totally misunderstand, like, what it means to critique something. Like, it's not all about just saying what's bad. It's also about saying what's good. And it's all, and, it's all- and like, one of the most, like, oh, a lot of people don't understand this either. Like, the, 
the the most part about uh, being a critic is like explaining about the game and telling you what you might not like about the game. Like if this is the game or the game type for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you don't like shooters, they're gonna like explain to you like this is like a bona fide shooter. If you don't like shooters, then this is probably not gonna get you into shooters. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it doesn't really reinvent the wheel. It's legit just still a basic shooter. It's not bad it or works. whatever game that they might be talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Like, and this is always gonna happen. There's always gonna be game developers that are gonna make shit. Yeah, like the only thing the thing I, f- I find weird kind of is that like there are reviewers that just review games and don't play that type of game at all. Mm-hmm. And then they just say the game shit because... It's not their thing. That's, yeah, but so it's just like, then why are you reviewing it then? Dragon Quest was a very bad game. Now, I played Tetris for I most played of my Madden. life. Now, this I, was not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I reviewed all the Madden games. Now, I played, uh, I play uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, Puyo Pop Fever? <laughs> <laughs> what is this gay ass puzzle anime garbage? Get this shit the fuck out of my face! Uh, by the way, uh, join my Madden tournament. <laughs> yeah, but I think to to wrap up my my thoughts on this anyway, just the video title is is very misleading because I don't think he even nearly touches think- enough as to like. The the racism part. I think like, he did it more for views. There is this, he part. tried to use, he tried to just use like racism people, as a, a a way to as kind a, of pump up his video. <laughs> and it worked. And it but, but see, this is what I find so fucking ironic is he's complaining about these critics, these 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 critics, but who you know like like sell out and and put these like crazy like reaction posts like we're gonna post this just so we get you know clickbait. Like, he's doing the same thing with this video by saying that. The same fucking thing. The thing he's speaking out against. You know what? You say that, but, like, the more you say that, the more I hope that's what he's doing. Because he, if he's really trying to make a parallel between racism and people Then harshly, he just needs to get off YouTube. Harshly criticizing uh, video he games. He does have a right to be on YouTube, but <laughs> people shouldn't watch him. In my, opinion. <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, well, like if he's like seriously legit trying to make parallel, make a parallel between racism and being black in America with people harshly talking about video games, fuck out of here, you you dragging it, hip hop gamer. I disagree. <laughs> so do all of we. Yep. All what? of we disagree. All of we. So all of we. All of we. I disagree. Racism I disagree. is not racist. Yes. Yes. Period. Uh, it's co-said by DJ. <laughs> All right. And you were getting into the whole. Oh, do you want? We, do we want to go on on this? Yes. All right. Uh so I mean, besides you that thinks that fucking DX is a podcast. Thank you. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> Me and Leon are very passionate, and we like wrestling a lot. We. Uh, I don't. Know, you grew up with it, yeah. Yep. I grew up with it. Leon grew up with it. Uh, I loved it. I still do. And it's the same thing like we were talking when well, I was talking about before with the game industry. Like, it's the same thing. Like, WWE has this picture perfect picture of what they want. Because, like, for instance, uh, I think I, I brought up on Eyes on Crash. If, uh, the Hall of Fame is very, very biased. Because a lot of people that should be on the Hall of Fame will never be into the Hall of Fame because, because of, of personal. Yeah, because of politics and personal issues that they've had backstage. Mm-hmm. They've been shit with Macho Man. The rumors of uh, I don't know if you've heard this, like the rumors about like he there was rumors that he might have uh, slept with Stephanie yeah, a while that. back and shit like that. And Lanny Poffo being like, well, if he's going in, all the Poffo should be. Meanwhile, you were a jobber and nothing. <laughs> and if you're and if you're gonna go on your hire or saying, well, I fought Hulk Hogan at Saturday Night Main Event, so did a bunch of other jobbers. <laughs> Congratulations. Good. Did you get it at WrestleMania? No? Okay, shut up, Pavo. Are you up for a title match? No? Shut up. And by the way, may I just say that, like, I hope that Hulk Hogan does not ruin that in- induction to Macho Man. A man that he does not like! I don't think he's going to put his foot in his mouth. I, I hope think Macho not. Man is just going to be like, We were the Mega Powers brother! I respected him as a colleague! But yeah, like... The same thing with, like, WWE, and it's, like, the fact that, like, you know, they try to shovel this crap in, and whenever a fan says something about it, like, Triple H is a very big guy with this, like, he hates when people go on Twitter and try to tell him how to run this thing, 
And keep in mind, yeah, we're not in the industry, mm-hmm. but we're fans of it. And, you know, we're investing our money into the product. So, in a way, we do kind of have a say in what goes on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, sometimes when you think something's great, it's not great. Like, we get it. Roman Reigns is related to The Rock. You can't put a promo like The Rock. <laughs> at all and like maybe I, you should give it to Ziggler you know someone that like he puts this one in his mouth too like you know people should hard working wrestlers should get that spot <laughs> Ziggler's just as hard working I feel like um, yeah I feel like they forgot that both him and Brock Lesnar don't, how to, don't know how to cut promos and they actually sat them in front of each other <laughs> and Paul Heyman just had to do it because ah oh, fuck it you both can't talk shit uh oh <laughs> what are we done what and when I'm a steamroller uh, it, when your steamroller's in the way you, you get out get out of the way <laughs> <laughs> oh boy it's just yeah. but like uh, I was watching Straight Shoot like the recent one have you heard of it no I haven't I gotta send you that uh, that podcast this dude uh, does a really good wrestling podcast called Straight Shoot. Pretty cool t-shirts, too, but they're always, like, I don't have any money, and they're always limited edition. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. But he's, like, always coming out with designs. Yeah, yeah, So, anyway, like, he came up with a good point. Like, sometimes the fans are right, yeah, but, like... Sometimes they can be really bad. Sometimes they're right, but sometimes you just got, like... It, it could be the beginning of a storyline and sometimes you just gotta sit back and just kind of let things play out and see what WWE is thinking but the problem that WWE has had in my opinion is I've, I've sat down and done it but like you know like one to two pay-per-views okay we'll see how it goes but when like three pay-per-views in the row are like fucking John Cena versus Randy Orton for like the fifth time ever well, like, right now they don't care. Well, right now they're starting to. Well, John Cena is basically like a John Cena is on the back right burner. Thank God, he's high mid card right now, and they're, they're they're starting to push more people. So I think that's that, my problem with them. They're very hesitant on yeah. who they want to start doing stuff with, yeah. and they only invest time in one particular person. Roman Reigns should not be that person right now. Roman Reigns is not ready. Maybe he could be, but he can't talk for shit. And fans can be bad too. Like big examples are uh, last Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. and I feel so bad when Rey Mysterio was number thirty in the Royal Rumble, yeah. and, every, and everyone won. Rey Mysterio, damn, like, all of a sudden, poor, heel. poor Rey <laughs> got booed out of the stadium because poor old Daniel Bryan couldn't be in it. Like, yep. stop. That's not right either. It's like, uh oh, Rey Mysterio suddenly turned heel because he was the thirtieth in the Royal Rumble. Oh, jeez. Oh, the most iconic one, Batista pointing to his dick. That's right. <laughs> what a prick. He didn't deserve it either. I mean, Batista shouldn't have gotten that spot, in my opinion, but he's he was a good wrestler. He played it up as a heel, though, so... But he's he's big movie star now. He's hmm. fucking new James Bond villain. Hmm. Made it big with Drax. And I think he will be good with that. Mm-hmm. It's just... But, bottom line... Do fucking research, people. Make your own opinions. And, yeah, that was another thing that he... Back to the conversation before. That was another thing he said. He was like... He was like poor consumers who, like, don't... Like, to, that don't think for themselves. So, no, that's not... That's not an excuse. It's not. That's not an excuse. Like, you, you're putting your money out there. If you waste your money on someone else's opinion, you deserve to lose your money. <laughs> like... <laughs> I forgot who said it, but uh, I think it was, like, J.P. Morgan or something. Like, there's a sucker born every day. Thank you, J.P. Morgan. It's like, if you're, if you're going to waste your money on someone else's opinion, then you deserve to... A, a fool and his money are quick to part. Like, do your research, check multiple sources, and if you're, re- if you're still not sure about the game, see if one of your friends have already bought it. Or rent the game. Just, like, get a Gamefly account and just yeah. rent it. And as I said before, it's not like, you know, when we didn't have the internet. Like, in this new age now, there's no excuse. It's all there for you. You just have to do the research, type it in, and do the research yourself. Mm-hmm. It's no excuse anymore. It's not like you have to buy a magazine 
to do research or buy books or anything like that. Every everything you could possibly want to know about anything at your damn is at your fucking fingertips. Mm-hmm. Like, on if, your fucking phone. If you don't yeah. got internet, take your laptop to the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> There's food reviews for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> like Yeah. If you want to know what taste buds are like, if you have if you don't have taste buds, I feel sorry <laughs> that for is you. probably the most form of just personal taste reviews. Yeah. I'm not even saying <laughs> that's a which is fucking pun. I'm being literal about it. Literal <laughs> personal taste. But yeah, so just in general, don't be butthurt if a critic doesn't think the way that you think. But also And some, don't take shit. But also critics should actually be critics but they should. And also just they shouldn't objective. sell instead out. of just being guys who just say something sucks because. Yeah. They they should have a they should have an educated opinion. Yes. Yes. One that is well. So, now we are here. Yes. What is coming up on the channel, fuck boy? Uh, I think it should be done by the time this comes out. Uh, we're going to be starting a new type of series. I don't know how, um, how frequent this series will be given. It's depending on whenever we try to beat him up guy <laughs> but uh something new is coming to the channel um continuing Star Fox not adventures it's not Star Fox I hate you I love you <laughs> and uh it's there's other thing there's real. other things in the work um unfortunately right now a lot of us uh are botched down with school work and stuff like that me and Dan being the culprits with that but sorry, my education means something. Sorry, it comes first. But we're, but we're dedicated to the channel. We love doing this. We wouldn't do it if we didn't. I mean, would money be great? Yeah. If you got money, give it. I don't know where you would give it. That'd be so nice. Yeah, would be nice. That's so nice. But uh, we're continuing to do it. We'll, we'll try to make sure that we have at least one video up weekly. But we have things on the back burner and we're working on stuff. But we don't want to yep. shovel shit out to you that's not worth your time. We want you to have high quality videos. Only the finest quality videos. Yes. Only the finest. And by the way, um, the people that are watching Star Fox, um, for the last few episodes, sorry about the audio quality. Um, something got fucked up when uh, it was rendering the video. And it fucked up the audio. But it's solved now. I found out new ways to do it, and that should not be a problem in the future. Fingers crossed, because it might happen. But I've, I still need to speak I've been adventuring more with the Elgato program and making sure this stuff doesn't happen as frequently. See, yeah. so it is an adventure. It is. And, def- and definitely look out for... Um, See, we made an adventure out of Star Fox. Okay. Also, uh, not adventure. If you're, listening adventure. To this, <laughs> if you're listening to this from the Facebook and you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. Yeah. Please consider subscribing. Subscribing, because we also have another podcast, Eyes on Crash, Indeed. that we do. And Leon has stuff on his channel. Yes, yes, I do. And I have nothing on my channel now. And I have thousands of views on videos that don't deserve it. Well, they do, <laughs> but this is <laughs> more. I, I, and he, I, hate, I hate right. being like that, because I'm like, yeah, don't get me wrong, two best friends dub, I did put a lot of work into that, but this is better. My and opinion. Did and two thing. videos at one time, but now stopped, and I don't know what I'm even going to do about that anymore. But I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. <laughs> Good. Just saying. The future. So. Future. <laughs> future.
たい職業ナンバーワン子供の憧れオルトロスアンアンの投票もナンバーワンオルトロス